the introductory music quite relaxing stay tuned as we discuss the oral presentation
you know that you have this lock seal and sign and i know that every one of you have a talent that you can utilize to do a fantastic job in your oral presentation do not um, doubt yourself you are you have this it is in the bag you can get 10 out of 10 you can get 9 out of 10 you can get 8 out of 10 you can get 7 out of 10 but i dare say challenge yourself push yourself the 10 out of 10 is within your reach within your grasp you have this it is sign seal and settle all right which i say sign seal and delivered 10 out of 10 it's all yours you want it 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 do you want it? It's all yours. It is in the bag. Once you follow the guidelines given in this presentation, I have no doubt that you will get 10 out of 10 for your oral presentation. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, we are work for. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 we are work for ah yeah you have it 10 out of 10 yes here we have it 10 out of 10 it is within your grasp your teacher won't deny you 10 out of 10 you're capable of getting it do you see the 10 you see the 10 you see the 10 wow yeah that's a wow moment presentation are as follows. At the end of the presentation, the students will be able to, one, state the requirements of the oral presentation for CSEC English A, two, identify the different types or forms of presentations such as speech, poem, drama or skit or song, three, outline the different techniques used in the form chosen, and of course, connect their introductory paragraph to their presentation so that it flows in a sequential manner. It is important that they understand what is an oral presentation. Oral presentation, also known as public speaking or simply presentations, consists of an individual or group verbally addressing an audience on a particular topic. The aim of this presentation is either to educate, inform, entertain, or present an argument. Oral presentations are seen within the workplace on a regular basis, classrooms, and even at social events, such as weddings. Therefore, it is the um, students are to be very observant of individuals who are presenting, doing an oral presentation so that they can grasp the key concept that will, go, that will enable them to do an effective job when they are doing their oral presentations. to the three C's of writing when they are doing their oral presentation. And the three C's are clarity, conciseness, and coherency. Now, in order for students' oral presentation to be clear, concise, and coherent, they need to understand how to structure their oral presentation. So, what should be in their oral presentation? Well, students should start with an introduction. Now, the introduction should provide an overview as to the genre they are going to be utilizing, whether it's poetry, prose, or drama. They should also state what kind of poem, prose, or drama piece that they will be doing, and also state the sources used. They should also comment on the type of language they will use, whether they are going to be using the standard English or the vernacular, or by extension Creole, right? State briefly what your their oral presentation will be about. So that is what the overview should look like.
Now, the body of the presentation, they are going to state their overall understanding of your topic. So your presentation, your oral presentation should be in keeping with the group's topic or your subtopic. They should highlight, of course, what they have learned about the topic. And of course, mention possible solution or comment on how to improve our improvements may be made on their topic and this information is taken from csec made easy all right so we know that csec has a certain requirement and csec want your presentation to adhere to the three c's clear concise and coherent let's see if you can master the oral presentation. Do you think you can master it? I know you can. I trust that this information is beneficial to you. Is a presentation memorable? One, a good command of language. And this by that by extension mean standard English and also Creole, right? So in terms of your introductory paragraph, you will be utilizing standard English to give to provide an overview of your presentation. However, your presentation can be done in the in Creole, right? Or it can be a mixture of the Jamaican um, of the standard English, sorry, and of course, Creole as well, right? The use of appropriate pitch or tone, right? So you want your presentation to be clear. You want your listeners to be able to hear what you're saying. So you're going to use the appropriate pitch or tone. And also you're going to in use different variation in terms of tone as well. You're going to vary your tone. So intonation it, um, has to be emphasized. So where sometimes you're, you're very soft and gentle depending on what you're expressing and there's times and you have to be very assertive in your tone so as you know to bring across a point so there must be also variation in tone in order to make your presentation more engaging right good now use us the use of relevant information expressed in a clear and logical manner so every information that you will have in your oral presentation should be relevant the reader the listener should not be questioning is that relevant should that be really stated in your presentation how does it um I like your topic or does it add to this topic or does it distract from your topic you understand so everything that you say must be in keeping with your topic or your subtopic so all information must be relevant and that's how you're going to um, achieve conciseness as well because all you would have omitted all the irrelevant information do you believe that there are other things that you find that will make a presentation memorable. If you're able to state other, other um, factors that will cause a presentation to be memorable, put them in the comment section below. Your presentation memorable. By now, you should have some ideas as to how you're going to make your presentation memorable. One, less is more. Your knowledge of your subject is best expressed through a clear and concise presentation that is provocative and leads to a dialogue during the question and answer section when the audience becomes active participants, okay? So say for instance, the teacher wants to test your knowledge and to see whether or not you have actually conducted a research. She can maybe ask you one or two questions. At that point, your knowledge of the material will likely become clear. So less is more, so brevity is important. Be logical. Think of the presentation as a story. There is a logical flow, a clear beginning, the overview. There is a middle and of course an end. You set the stage beginning, you tell the story middle, and you have a big finish, the end, where the, you take home the message is clearly understood. So you bring home the message, 
right? So if you're saying that we're not in agreement with abortion, then the message is, should be clearly if um, expressed, okay, right? And if you're saying that we are we we do not believe that um, technology has more advantages than disadvantages, okay, then that message should be clearly brought um, brought home, right? So you make sure you say less and you you are you are concise and you are also logical with your you logically arrange your information. Let's look at some other tips. Treat the floor as a stage. Presentation should be entertaining, but do not overdo it and do know your limits. If you are not humorous by nature, do not try and be humorous. If you, do, you are not good at antidotes, do not try and tell antidotes. And, and of course, other things if you're not good naturally good at them okay then don't insert them in your presentation okay right so we don't want you to have a flop presentation we want you to be a up 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 right thumbs up presentation right so practice and time your presentation the more you practice the less likely you'll be to go off on a tangent the more presentations you give the better you're going to get so it is important that you practice, allow your friends and your family to critique your presentation and provide constructive criticism. An important talk should not be given for the first time. So on the day of the, present, the oral presentation, that's not when you should be doing your presentation for the first time. Practice in front of the mirror, practice with your friends and family and allow them to give you valuable feedback on your oral presentation you've got this 10 out of 10 yes good morning everyone my name is sherry walker and i am a student of grade 10. today i will be presenting to you a dramatic poem under the theme the impacts of technology in schools during the coronavirus pandemic I will be using standard English to voice this poem with a mixture of figurative languages such as rhetorical question, irony, and humor. Before I begin, did you know that technology has an effect on all of us on this platform? Yes, it does. Not only in Jamaica, but in many other countries worldwide, as we can all agree, it makes life easier for everyone. Although we have online classes, based on my research, some families still cannot access the right technology and they struggle to even find food, not to mention purchasing a laptop or a tablet. I hope this poem gives you a brief touch as to what my topic is all about. What if there was no school? No work, no teachers equates to a fool. If it wasn't for our technological devices, how could we learn in this COVID crisis? Locked inside that boring house, not even to go outside and play, for the coronavirus has even scared doctors away. Online learning can be fun. It's even better than playing in the sun. A lot of people think that COVID is here to stay, but the best thing we can do is pray. As we dig a little deeper into our new norm, we find that Google Classroom is a well-known platform. Not to mention Zoom and Google Meet, it was not just for meet and greet. Some say digital platforms are better than traditional learning, and some think it can go hand by hand. But what do you think? Do you understand? Some subjects are difficult when studying remotely. Teachers endeavor in students' learning reciprocally. While other subjects have positive effects, it takes up a lot of time and more information to collect. Being unable to check with your teacher face-to-face, -face, just ensure you try hard to keep up the pace. 
This is the end of my poem. For a little closure, remember that while you are getting a good education, others are still trying to find ways to get theirs. Always appreciate and be thankful for what you have. <laughs> this is what i'm going to suggest you are going to do the poem over but this is what i'm going to suggest because you you, you know you go very fast you have a lot to say but it's bang 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 Christians of Cherie's presentation. Did she nail it? Did she provide an overview? Was her presentation clear, concise, and coherent? Was all the information relevant to her topic? What was her present was her presentation engaging? What are your thoughts on her presentation? Share them in the comment section below. Um, your poem here. All right. All right, over to you now, Maliko. Good morning, everyone. My name is Malika Patterson. I am a grade 11 student of the Meadowbrook High School. Today, I will be discussing my oral presentation in the form of a poem. My group's topic is COVID-19 and its impact on society. However, the subtopic I will be doing is how COVID-19 has impacted our social lives positively. I will be utilizing standard English as my main language. In this presentation, I aim to help you see the positive side to the COVID-19 pandemic. The reason why I chose this topic is because COVID-19 has impacted my social life significantly over the past year. And I have realized that a lot of people have been focusing on the negative effects of this pandemic. I believe that it has had a lot of positive impacts on their social lives. So I will be doing this presentation to let you see the positive side to this pandemic. The sources that were used to guide this presentation includes Eight Positive Impacts to Look Forward to Post-COVID-19 post Pandemic by Viping Thomas. Date was not specified. A YouTube video titled Coronavirus Social Impact, a podcast with Monaj and Shitna by Take Two Creations, published on April 28, 2020, and a poem, And So the Sun by the writer Lotus K, published on March 31st. With that being said, I will now be reading a poem I wrote titled, Thank You. In this poem, I use various figur figurative devices such as rhetorical questions, repetition, and rhyme. Okay, very good introduction, Malika Patterson. All right, and so you may enable your video now and do your poem. Me yes, say video. Um, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Corona. Thank you for giving me a sense of self-realization, for letting me realize that we shouldn't take anything in our life for granted. Thank you. Thank you for giving us a break from our busy lives, a break from school, work, and play, for making us take time to focus on ourselves and to be reborn again. Thank you for bringing us closer. Who would have thought we would become more connected while being so far apart? Finally, there's something that has united mankind and our hearts. Thank you for making us be thankful, thankful for what we already have, to remind me to appreciate the little things in life. Thank you, Karuna, for giving me a sense of peace in my life. In conclusion, I hope this presentation helped you to have a different presentation. Did she nail it? Did she provide an overview? Was her presentation clear, concise, and coherent? Was all the information relevant to her topic? 
Was our presentation engaging? Do you share our opinion? Are you grateful for the COVID-19 pandemic? Put those comments in the chat below. How would you have rated her? Do you think she deserved 10 out of 10? 9 out of 10? 8 out of 10? Are you in agreement that there are some positive effects of the COVID-19 pandemic? Are you as thankful as she is? presentation can take the form of a song, it can take the form of a drama, it can take the form of a poem, or it can take, may take the form of a speech. You are to select a form that appropriate that is appropriate so to you, one that you are able to master. Right? What can you insert? What can you insert in your oral presentation? Of course, figures of speech. Right now, your figures of speech can take the form of hyperbole, simile, repetition, sarcasm, rhetorical question, alliteration, metaphor, or irony. And there are other figurative devices that can be employed in your speech, in your song, in your poem, or in your drama. Um, please consult again with your teachers to decide, and of course, allow your parents and your family to vet or and, and provide constructive criticism on your oral presentation. Okay. So, good afternoon everyone, and I'd like to share this poem that can be utilized when you're looking at an oral presentation. Oral presentation, this poem is entitled The Child Support by Anush Harrison Jackson. The child support. I do not wish to hear anything regarding court. All I need is the child support. Do you believe it is a walk in the park to raise children in these economically challenging times? Last week you said you had car payment. This week it is the insurance and I guess next week it is going to be the rent. If I don't believe you, then I can take you to court. Court where you must have meant courts, the furniture store. I have no intention of being anyone's clown. Look on me. If I go before the judge, he or she will wear a frown. It is obvious I am not ready for full custody. A young, vivacious woman like me can't be strapped with the sole responsibility of taking care of anyone even for a hundred grand. So where is the child support? You have the gall to ask me, why do I need it? When your daughter and son are with you all week and I only see them on weekend? Well, if you think that bacon and cheese, strawberry, kiwi, lettuce and broccoli cheap just think again cut the drama and give me the child support you know how much i have to put up with endless bawling and wailing which can be heard from a thousand miles you know how much session i miss footloose dirty friday turn up saturdays and lazy sundays your child support would make even a frog croak. You're a joke. So hear me good. I do not wish to hear anything regarding court. All I need is the child support. That was child support. All right. Now this poem, Child Support, looks at certain um, societal issues. One is... support if you were in work please place them in the comment section below and please give an example of them <laughs> all 
or if you were able to identify one or two devices that were used, let me know. I trust that you found this presentation beneficial and that you will allow it to guide your presentation, your oral presentation. All the best in your oral presentation. If you have found this presentation to be beneficial, remember to like, share, tell a friend, and subscribe. God bless you.